Uh, I am Shayda. I am a curator at Koç University's Resource Center for Anatolian Civilizations, namely Anamet, in Istanbul, Turkey. Our center is an international hub for archaeologists and art historians where they conduct their research when in Turkey. Anamet also has a ga gallery which is located right in the center of Istanbul and we organize temporary <coughs> exhibitions in collaboration with international institutions, museums, research centers, archives, and many private collections. In my presentation, I will give examples from three exhibitions that I organized in order to discuss the role of collections of archaeological photography in the transfer of knowledge. Photography is a key component of archaeological <coughs> documentation since the formalization of the discipline in the mid-19th century. Carefully developed documentation of archaeological finds, as well as photographic archives of excavations, offer the opportunity to provide evidence returning an artifact or a cultural object to its former life. As Peter G. Doral explained, as long as archaeological excavations continues, and as long as artifacts are studied and conserved, there will be a need for accurate visual records. In recent years, a great number of investments has been made in digitizing photographic collections and excavation documents through initiatives based in museums, libraries, and university archives. These digitizing projects brought an unprecedented access to an interpretation of information. Today I will present case studies from photographic collections of international archaeological excavation projects in Turkey. You see the names of the exhibitions uh, on the screen. Discussing the collection management from a public engagement perspective. These three exhibitions are prepared from the archives of excavation projects and that have been developed with the aim of gaining widespread visibility and en enabling new perspectives beyond offering resources for academic research. The first example is from 2014, the ex exhibition entitled Antioch on the Orontes, Early Explorations in the City of Mosaics. The project has an implementation history that took decades to finalize. The exhibition tells the story of the discovery of the world-renowned mosaics of the Hatay province in southeast Turkey, unearthed by the Committee for the Excavation of Antioch on the Orontes, spearheaded by Princeton University between 1932 and 1939. The mosaics are now in display in Hatay Archaeological Museum. These mosaics are the most prominent testimonials to the cultural and economic wealth of Roman and early Byzantine Antiochia. The photographic collection that was subject to our exhibition is housed in Princeton University's Department of Art and Archaeology Research Photographs Archive, which includes 5,700 photographs and negatives from the excavation of the site and its objects. Those photos were taken by the excavation team to document the archaeological work carried out and the mosaics as they first discovered hidden under the roads, squares, and gardens of modern-day Hatay. So what is the story behind them when they when those significantly precious artifacts were first discovered in situ. Curated by Murat Akar, our exhibition intended to show what the sites looked like at the time of the excavations in the 30s. The project initiators, Scott Redford, Sherry Canfield, and Hatice Pamir, prepared a selection from the Princeton University Research Archive to illustrate the living conditions of the time. In addition, this curatorial selection aimed to reconstruct the ambience and appearance of ancient Anti Antiochia by including photographs of, of public baths, luxurious villas, and markets. Those photos are documented the technical level of Anti Antiochia citizens. The 
The exhibition linked the present and the past and showed how they were intermingled during the years of excavations led by Princeton University. Thanks to the realization of the project, we also published an exhibition catalog, which is available for those who would like to examine the story of the discovery of Hatay mosaics in detail. Back in the 1930s, the discoveries from the city center and Roman villas received worldwide attention from public and academic circles. Yet the story of these early explore explorations had never been presented altogether in an exhibition context until Anamet Gallery was opened. The exhibition project was initially developed in 2003 and could only be implemented, as I said, until Anamet Gallery was opened in 2012. It took 10 years to realize this exhibition. So imagine like, organizing a photography, archaeology photography exhibition in 10 years. It, is, it sounds long, but I take it as an optimistic evidence that the realization of this project is a very promising example for the researchers and archivists who would like to raise awareness and bring their photographic research collections in light which are waiting in the old shelves of the many archives and libraries today. Coming to the next example, in 2005, we organized another archeological archive exhibition in collaboration with the University of Liverpool. This exhibition was entitled John Grass and Footsteps Across Anatolia and it was curated by archaeologist Alan Greaves from the Archaeology Department of the University of Liverpool. Professor John Garstang, who was the founder of the British Institute of Archaeology at Ankara, was an important figure in the archaeological research in Turkey. Two of his most significant contributions were his 1907 Anatolia survey and his use of photography as a means of recording archaeological discoveries. Garstang's survey of Anatolia and northern Syria established the full extent of the ancient Hittite Empire for the first time and effectively laid the foundation of Hittite historical geography as it's known today. The exhibition was the fruition of five years of research at the University of Liverpool where a team of technicians using the latest digital technology of that time digitized thousands of images from Garstein archives of delicate glass photographic negatives. Examples of Garstein's photo albums are kept in the archives of the Garstein Museum of Archaeology in Liverpool and in the British Institute at Ankara. What do the excavation photographs kept in the institution, institutional archives tell us about the objects that are preserved in the museum collections. So imagine that Garstein photographs are showing uh, some historical sites in Anatolia and those photographs are kept mostly in Liverpool. So this exhibition and the project <laughs> brought them together to um, have research on the artifacts. These images serve as an important source of primary research data for the academic community. As Ellen Greaves noted in the exhibition catalog, the digitized images reveal details not only previously visible or studied for evidence of buildings, artifacts, and landscapes that have been irrevocably changed or lost in the intervening centuries since Garstein photographed them. For instance, as Nigunoz examines in her, in her article in the exhibition catalog, the story of Garstang's most iconic discovery in Turkey, the carved stone reliefs of the palace gateway at Sakçagözü, you see from one of our exhibition displays on the screen, that is now in the Museum of Anatolian Civilizations in Ankara, could also be traced by those photographs showing the initial discovery. So these two archaeological projects 
were developed from the records kept from the excavation or field surveys from about a hundred years ago. <coughs> they were both the first examples using photography in archaeological excavations for documenting. They are the first examples. So, however, new inferences are now possible with today's archaeological methodologies, modern photographic techniques, and digital applications. So what is the role of photographic archives in cataloging, storing, preserving, and displaying the archaeological finds? Last year, together with one of the Chatalek Research Project archaeologists, Duygu Tarkan, who is with us today, we opened the exhibition entitled The Curious Case of Chatalek at the Anomet Gallery in Istanbul. Chatalek is a UNESCO World Heritage List Neolithic site located in Konya, central Turkey known for its fascinating cutting-edge archaeological research methods and laboratory collaborations, Chatalik is presented through experiment-based digital display methods in our exhibition. Certainly, the image archive was a key source for us when preparing the, this exhibition. Chatalik Research Project has a very well-documented photography archive kept by Jason Kinlan, who is a professional photographer experienced in archaeology project, projects documenting, documenting excavations and finds. As part of the exhibition, we invited the media artist Refik Anadol to develop a digital installation by using Chatelik Research Project's database of 250,000 finds. He reassessed about half a million pieces of available data most of which were images. By employing machine learning algorithms to sort relations among these records, Anadol transformed this knowledge into an immersive media installation. So, Chatalik finds the objects that were discovered in Chatalik are also uh, on display in Anatolian Civilizations Museum in Ankara. That I'm going to explain you more. <laughs> Thanks to detailed and ordinated structure of the database, the machine intelligence could have been employed and made it possible to present the complex relationship between these images in a simpler fashion. Anadol ran 10 different trial sessions scenarios, but my presentation won't allow me to explain all of them, but I would like to address one of them, uh, which discovers the relation between photos and the information that the specialist provided in the database. This one scenario was called object detection, in which algorithms define the objects that are seen in the photos with greater speed and accuracy than any human being. So it is not visible now here, but uh, the machine intelligence was detecting the objects, naming their period, showing their uh, time and their materials in nanoseconds. <laughs> and the accuracy was um, like, yeah, more than any human being can define them. So this artistic intervention of an archaeological archive can be considered as an evidence why preserving, cataloging, and storing photographic collections of archaeological research projects are important. If photographic collections are well kept, their image database can also be used to identify objects of some geography, same geography, or period, and help researchers to make broader interpretations on the archaeological collections faster than ever. To conclude, these three projects provide examples of different international archaeological research projects held in Turkey. Those research projects were conducted in different years. Although they employed different methodologies, they used the technology of photography for documenting their finds with the belief that the photographic collections have the potential to tell about the artifacts 
a lot more than what is seen on the first look at those images. To achieve their documentation goal, they all use the most recent photographic techniques and equipment. As Peter G. Doyle argues in his article, the photographic image has a shorter life than many of the artifacts that they photographed. But the conservation and preser preservation of photographic images is the future now. By means of those three, three projects, well-documented photographic archives, they offer the opportunity to reconstruct the stories of the objects that are preserved in museum collections for future generations. Thank you.